Hey everybody, I'm Kelly Hydrator at Imagination Station with my favorite extreme scientist, Jessie. And guess what? She's putting me through the torture chamber. Look what <laughs> we have today. A bed of nails. Jess, why are we doing this? All right, well what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna lay you down on this bed of nails. <laughs> are you feeling brave today? I guess so. Feel like you can handle it? <laughs> yeah. All right, so the reason that this is possible, it's absolutely safe, is because if we were to lay you down on one single nail, that would be your, say, 100 pounds of force pushing down on one nail, and it would probably puncture you. But when we take the same amount of force and press it down onto 400 nails, it spreads it all out, and we have less pressure, okay. which is why it's safe. So we're going to demonstrate that with the balloon. So go all ahead right. and stick the balloon so right you're on saying, top. So you're saying if I were to put this just on one nail, it'll pop. Absolutely. If I put it on you set all it of down, these nails. Yep. And just press gently with your hand. Don't press too hard because if it does pop, we don't want your hand to go down. Check that out. Okay. <laughs> so, so you feeling better about yeah, it now? Okay, the balloon okay. was safe, so we think you'll be pretty safe all too. Alright, let's all try Alright, so you can go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to make sure that you're safe while we're doing this, so go ahead and put your gloves on. Okay, Jesse, so I really trust you, but I'm lying on a bed of nails right now. And now you're going to put another one on top? Absolutely. Are, are you feeling okay for I right am. now? I am. I Good. totally trust All you. Right. Like I said, so since you're doing great, yeah, we absolutely are going to add the other one on top. <laughs> All right. So here goes nothing. You love me, right, Jess? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Gently set that on top of you. Okay. That all right? Got it. Yep. You feeling good? All right. Well, since you're still feeling good, these nails probably don't weigh very much. So we're just going to add a little bit of weight to it. <laughs> all right. So are you still doing all right down there, Do Kelly? Do not try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> you're absolutely right. We would not want that to be tried at home. So you still doing all right? Yeah. It's probably getting pretty heavy, but yeah. you're still okay? I'm doing okay. Well, since you're still okay, we're going to try and smash this brake on oh, top of you. No way. <laughs> what? All right. You think you can take it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. I got all my right. sledgehammer right over here. All right. You get ready to go. So I need you to put your hands in front of your face. Absolutely. Now I'm going to give you a countdown <laughs> just so that you're ready. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, Jesse, wow, I'll tell you what, you know what, it really wasn't that uncomfortable underneath all those nails, but when you laid this cinder block on me, I thought, forget about it, I'm going to keep falling <laughs> sick tomorrow. Why does this work? All right, so first of all, like I said, it's all about the difference between pressure and force. So the force was spread out between all of those 400 nails, so the pressure really wasn't that bad. Now with the brick, when we smashed it, that brick breaking absorbed all of the shock oh. of my hit of the sledgehammer. Oh. So you probably you didn't feel very much at all, right? No, but I'll tell you what, Jess, I'm glad you hid the sledgehammer from me when <laughs> I walked in. Good trick. Three, two, one.